Greetings mortals. So you're probably wondering why I look like absolute shit and it's because I look how I feel right now. I am tired, my head hurts, I'm like breaking out in places that I should not be breaking out. So there's the struggle of that. So yesterday was Thanksgiving and I spent the day with my boyfriend's family, which his family's super great. I like hanging out with them. His grandma is an absolute angel. I'm finally at that age to where it's time to start contributing and actually giving something when it comes to, you know, the duties of people. I don't know, whatever. So most of the dishes were actually already taken care of, but I did, you know, help peel potatoes and all of that business. So essentially, this is how the day went. So first thing that happens, wake up, there's a headache. And I figure, okay, you know, this is kind of just the morning headache, you know, hopefully it doesn't get any worse, you know, maybe it'll get better once I take some Excedrin, whatever, whatever. I take a shower, put a little bit of face on, all of that, and then I head to my boyfriend's house. Kind of immediately get to helping out and, you know, peeling potatoes and stirring this and mixing that and cutting these things up and all of that business. And as the day goes on, my headache gets progressively worse. At one point I was, I think I was cutting up bacon or something. I had brought two bottles of mead over. Actually I happened to have had two bottles of mead in the back seat of my car and I was like, eh, right now might be the right time to chill those out and maybe use them, I don't know. So I had two bottles of mead chilling so I had my boyfriend pour me a glass of mead. Apparently I really like mead because I had like four or five glasses of it. And usually alcohol helps my headaches. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the alcohol working as like a blood thinner to kind of relieve some blood pressure to make the headache go away. Or maybe I'm just getting drunk so it's numbing the sensation. Either way, typically alcohol helps and in this case it just didn't. My headache just got progressively worse and of course I'm getting drunker at the same time so I'm a lot more vocal about the whole situation. Eventually it just got so bad that my boyfriend and I just went and took a nap. That nap lasted from like 7 o'clock to 11. So we missed out on a lot of like the goodbyes and you know saying bye to family and all of that stuff. When I woke up my head felt like it was going to explode. I feel like my entire Thanksgiving experience would have been spectacular if it weren't for these fucking headaches. I had been given a Norco for a previous headache that I ended up not taking. I don't really like pain pills or the idea of pain pills. I've taken them before and I don't like the sensation that it gives me. I don't like being high. I don't like any of that. I don't know. It just makes me feel really icky. But at one point I just decided, you know what, I need to just take this and try to feel better. And I mean, it helped a little bit, but it didn't really take away the entire headache. And this is the part that's really frustrating. I went to the doctor, I don't know, like two months ago with this problem and we still haven't really figured out what the issue is. I've been in constant pain since about February. So I haven't had an actual hangover since I was like 21. I tend to stay pretty hydrated when I drink so I tend to not get hangovers. So for a while it was kind of complicated to explain what my headaches felt like and then it kind of dawned on me that my headaches feel like a constant hangover. So I explained what was going on to my doctor and you know I got the diagnosis of you know the high blood pressure and the high cholesterol and the low vitamin D and everything. Which by the way are all symptoms of a thyroid disorder but I don't have a thyroid disorder even though thyroid problems run in both sides of my family. Plus my mother has fibromyalgia so so during my follow-up visit I was told to change my diet Quit drinking energy drinks, drink more water, take vitamin D pills. I have been doing all of the above and nothing has gotten better. Literally my headaches are still happening every day and now I'm just fucking exhausted all the time. I feel like at any time I could lay down and just go to sleep at any given time. I have no energy to do anything really. So this is where it gets extremely frustrating is I'm doing all of the things necessary to make myself feel better and it's not working. 
what is the point of changing my lifestyle if I'm not going to feel better and in fact I'm feeling worse. Recently I started you know starting my day with downing a bottle of water first thing when I wake up and then a green tea and two Excedrin and that's pretty much breakfast. I recently learned how to poach an egg and now that's literally all I want to eat for breakfast is poached eggs. I don't really know how good that is for you but it's definitely not like honey buns and cereal and all that shit. I used to not eat breakfast at all. I would start my day off with a monster energy drink and not eat anything until like later on in the afternoon and I would get super duper shaky and I would have like tremors and all of this shit. So quitting the energy drinks has helped with the tremors but my fucking face still hurts. So as I've said before, the headaches kind of range from slightly annoying to absolutely excruciating, can't function, can't drive, can't like anything. I have literally felt pain from like the top of my head down into my teeth. And it feels like my brain is just trying to pop out the front of my face. And of course, my last visit with my doctor, I explained all of this to her and I told her, you know, about the energy drinks and everything and she's like, oh, yeah, you should probably quit the energy drinks. Like, no fucking shit, but that's not gonna, that's not gonna fix the whole fucking situation. I still haven't had that MRI that they told me that I was gonna get. They still haven't called me, so I'm guessing I'm gonna have to call them. I just feel like when it comes to your health, <laughs> you shouldn't have to harass your doctor in order to feel better. I've expressed to my doctor I don't want any kind of medication or anything that's gonna make me feel high. I don't know if she's under the impression that maybe I'm the kind of person who, you know, wants drugs or something like that. Of course, everybody has an opinion, everybody has a remedy, everybody has a something that they think will make you feel better. And it's like, you know, I'm trying. I'm trying as many things as I can. I don't even know where the high cholesterol thing comes from. I don't even really eat red meat or pork. I literally haven't had a burger in like over two years, I think. It's been a long fucking time. I rarely eat red meat. I don't really eat pork. I don't, I don't eat like fast food, like greasy fast food type stuff. At least I try not to. I've really tried to cut back on like sodas and things like that, but there's just not enough caffeine to keep me awake. I just feel like I could just at any given moment. Like, it's so frustrating. I guess I'm just really trying to say like I'm just really tired of feeling like this and I feel like people that I associate with or maybe people that I see all the time think I'm exaggerating or they think that it's not as big of a deal as it is and it's like the people who spend the most time with me kind of know because, I don't know, it's it's affecting my my day to day. My boyfriend, I see him every day and he he knows when there's something wrong. Like a lot of the time I'm just angry for no particular reason, which I have problems with anxiety so irritability is kind of a thing that goes hand in hand with that but when the headaches come on it's just, I just become like vicious almost. I really try not to but it's like it's, it's just hard. When you're in pain, you just can't, you can't human, you can't people, person, it's not, it's not a thing. And I know you guys noticed that there wasn't a Witchy Wednesday this week, and a lot of that is just being super busy with, you know, holiday stuff, and on top of that not feeling good. My very best friend in the whole entire world's birthday is tomorrow. I have to work, so can't really do the whole birthday dinner thing with her, but, you know, maybe I can take her out and go have some drinks and all of that stuff. I did get her some pretty neat gifts, I think. She's like totally a mermaid IRL, so I got her some mermaid themed stuff that I'm not gonna put on the camera just in case. I don't know when this is gonna go up, I'm just... I just needed to rant. I needed to yell at something, and my camera happened to be the closest thing to me. I hope you guys don't mind my angry, pimple-titted, no bra wearing, <laughs> you know, frustrated rant. I just, you know, you ever just have one of those days, you just gotta yell at something. I'm sure some of you guys deal with chronic pain or chronic illness and can somehow relate. 
If you guys have any kind of suggestions or anything like that, if I haven't tried it, I might try it. Before you suggest a dath piercing, just know I've thought about it. Yes, I am a professional body piercer. I know it's not guaranteed to help. When it comes to the dath piercing, that's kind of like a last resort type of thing. It's not really an actual medically proven thing. That's kind of like a, this is what we have left to do, so let's just fucking try it. So I'm kind of holding off on the dath piercing until all of my other resources are kind of dried out. So y'all, I hope you don't mind my ranting and raving too much. Hopefully you guys kind of understand. Maybe you get where I'm coming from. How was your Thanksgiving? Let me know. I want to know. I care. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all of that business that I go through every time in the comments, all that stuff. I will try my very hardest to have some more pleasant content up for you guys, but in the meantime, this is just the shit that we gotta deal with. I hope you guys had an awesome Thanksgiving, have an awesome weekend, and I will see you in this upcoming week.